The marriage of Prince Albert and Queen Victoria of England, remains a memorable event in history. After their marriage, royal weddings became an exciting public event that all British people looked forward to. Although historians claim that their relationship was not as perfect as it looked on the surface, there's no doubt that the two loved each other dearly. Prince Albert was Victoria's first cousin from her mother's side, but they didn't meet until Victoria's 17th birthday. Back then, Victoria didn't think much of Albert, since she had no desire to marry in the first place. However, after her coronation, she realized that the only way to be free of her overbearing mother was to find a husband, and what better candidate than Albert. When Victoria met Albert for the second time, it seemed like something had changed in her. The same Albert, whom she hadn't even looked at twice, seemed so much more charming and captivating than before. Five days later, it was Victoria who asked for Albert's hand in marriage, and the two officially became a married couple in a public ceremony, starting their life together as Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. Their relationship was an emotional roller coaster, and it was no secret that this marriage, just like most of the royal marriages, was mostly a gambit. Prince Albert desired to have more power than just Prince Consort, and Queen Victoria's pregnancies provided the perfect chance for him to play the role of king in all but name, and he fulfilled that role to perfection. As for Victoria, she admired her husband for his brilliance, but she also disliked the fact that her duties as a mother and wife had robbed her of her power as queen. Her conflicted sentiments, combined with postnatal depression, caused her temper to flare at times. As she stormed around the palace, shouting her lungs out at her husband, Albert chose to walk away and leave notes under her door, giving her some time to calm her nerves. In addition to being the prince consort, Albert was also the affectionate father of nine children, adapting a more direct approach in raising his children. When news of a scandal concerning Bertie, his eldest son, reached Albert's ears, he quickly paid a visit to him to have a lengthy discussion. However, he never returned back to Windsor as the same man. Unbeknownst to his wife, he only had three weeks to live after this event, and he lost his life to illness at the age of 42. Victoria had lost her husband, friend, and confidant. Grief washed over the Queen, and while she kept on living, it seemed as though her soul had already left her body. She withdrew from the public, seldom appearing in social events, and only wore black for the rest of her life. Although her husband was no more, his memory lived on with her forever, and she ordered several memorials to be erected in his honor, the grandest of which is the Albert Memorial in Kensington Gardens.